What's the weirdest irrational fear you have? Best of Reddit, daily new uploads, subscribe and like for more, just do it. Aquatic enemies in video games, I could only play Subnautica for about an hour and then had to quit, real life sharks don't bother me at all. Go hell, yeah I get crazy anxiety, it started on level 3 of Star Wars Dark Troopers when I was like, 5 and to this day I cannot do any first person underwater bullshit. For some reason though third person is fine, the underwater parts of WoW for example were super fine. I always get scared while driving at night that the car following me is a cop that's gonna pull me over. Doesn't matter if I'm obeying the law, something about not being able to see the profile of the car just makes me super on edge. Enjoying the video leave a comment below. 3. Walking up concrete stairs, tripping, and knocking all of my teeth out. That I'm autistic, or schizophrenic, or have some other mental disorder I am unaware of and everyone is just being nice to me because they know I'm special, or not perceiving reality as it is, and that I have achieved nothing of my own merit. I sometimes get anxiety attacks if people suggest this and I start second guessing my whole life. If I were crazy how would I know? How would I know? People would tell you. Even if it was some big conspiracy to keep you in the dark because you are special, one of your friends or family would be having a bad day and your final idiotic moment would just break them. Related note, I used to be a therapist and it wasn't unusual for people to come in their 20s and 30s just once to check am I okay I've often thought of setting up a psych practice where you can be only be seen once for only that question. I appreciate this post and would be interested in an appointment. When I was little my parents made me go to this girl boy scouts thing that was inclusive of all kids. On my team there were three boys with down syndrome and one other regular kid. I was briefly worried that I had down syndrome and my parents didn't tell me because they didn't want to hurt my feelings. I meet Shaq and he doesn't like me. That's not irrational. That under my skin is a mesh of thick black hairs covering my entire body. What the fuck? That's terrifying. Why do you have to go and say that? Good lord, now I have something else to worry about. A shark will attack me in a lake or swimming pool. I feel you. Like, sometimes I even fear sharks out of water. I imagine millions of years ago when oceans covered present day dry lands, a prehistoric shark could have stood in the exact same spot where I'm now. HTTPS colon slash slash mysterious universe dot org slash 2018 slash 06 slash the dash mysterious dash shark dash attack dash in dash lake dash michigan slash right square bracket open bracket http s mysterious universe org slash 2018 stroke 06 slash the mysterious shark attack in lake michigan not totally irrational Bull sharks can swim in fresh water. One was caught 2,200 miles upstream in the Amazon and one was caught in Illinois in the Mississippi River wild shit but I think you are more likely to get hit by a beetle than get attacked by a shark at a lake. I'm terrified I'm going to wake up one day and find out I've slipped backwards in time, whether it be days, weeks, or even years. Worst case scenario I wake up in middle school. I can't do middle school again, man. Right? All those are scredded threads asking you go back in time with the knowledge you have now what do you do? Uh, kill myself? I don't want to be a teenager again lol. I barely survived the first time around if I got to be 12 again I'm gonna fucking KMS I cannot go through Gangnam style and what does the fox say being on the radio let alone everything else. I know I was 14 when those songs were popular but time isn't real. I'm terrified of roaches and palmetto bugs. This is totally rational. Those are some nasty critters. Heart attacks. When I was in the 10th grade my biology teacher told us that one of the signs of a heart attack is your left arm going numb. For the first few weeks afterwards I usually got less than 3 hours of sleep per night because the fear of having a heart attack kept me up. It got better, but almost every night since then I fall asleep with my right hand over my heart so I can feel it beating and call for help if it stops. I know it's stupid, but you said irrational. At night, sometimes I would get heartburn, and I would panic, thinking I had a heart attack. Falling. Not heights, just falling. Yeah, this is the worst one for me. You ever get the sudden feeling that you're falling while laying in bed? Water or horses? Don't forget to leave your comment. Nobody tell this guy about seahorses. Oh god oh god oh god oh god. 
that everyone simultaneously will realize my feelings for them are different than what they feel for me. I can recognize emotions and understand the gravity of them. I just can't feel them. I'm a meat robot without an emotion chip trying to blend into a world where emotions are important. To me, the smaller a commercial airplane is, the more likely it is to crash. So if I get on a plane that has rows where three seats are on one side and only two seats on the other, I feel less safe than if it was three and three. In my mind it also means the pilot and airline company have to be way more responsible because there are more people on board. It sounds logical in my head, but I guess it's not because people laugh when I tell them this. Not really an irrational fear. This is absolutely true and backed by statistics. Regional airlines have much less training requirements than the national carriers and in general smaller airplanes have pilots with much less experience. That being said all air travel is insanely safe. Safer than crossing the road or driving a car. Your proverbial 1 in a million just becomes 1.5 in a million. Sudden unexpected heart attack. That I drop a knife or spill boiling hot water, not on myself, but on my cat. I fucking hate horses. They have human-esque teeth, they are huge, and they have eyes that trigger an uncanny valley reaction in me. Like, there's intelligence there, almost like a human, but numb. Almost like a human corpse. I'm trying to get over it. I'm pretty sure they can sense my fear, which doesn't help. As a side note, I dated a guy who was into horses once and had to pretend to not be horrified for like 6 months. We broke up for unrelated reasons. I'm 100% sure the horse knew. I'm really scared of being on the same step of escalators with 2 or 3 other people. I'm afraid that the tile will just fall because it can't support the weight of 2-3 people so I always hold on to the railing tightly. Fucking balloons dude. I'm more specifically, taking balloons outside. I get such bad anxiety of the thought of balloons flying away that I get chest pains, and I start to have problems breathing. It stems from me being two and witnessing one of those cellophane balloon hit a transformer and literally explode. Even at 19 I still get the chest pain. Stuff touching my eyes. I wear glasses, but refuse to wear contacts. Eyeballs are not meant to be touched. My job will realize I am a fraud and fire me. Even though I am nationally recognized as an expert in my field. Imposter syndrome is an epidemic I tell you. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like and hit the bell for more videos comment your views.